I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given to me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. That's Acts 20, 24. You see behind me magnets that I grew up with, my mom's magnets that she had. Please be patient. God is not finished with me yet. And I'm reminded that every day that God is not finished with me because I'm nowhere near the person that I want to be. I don't have near the patience that I want to have. I don't have near the grace with others that I want to have, the grace that I hope to have in return. I fall short on so many levels, and yet we are forgiven, not because of anything we did, but because of what God did through Jesus Christ on the cross. All that we do means nothing if it's not for the glory of God. And the only times I feel like my life has meaning, truly, is when I'm sharing the news of who Jesus is. And I'm finding myself in more and more conversations about Jesus. And when they happen, everything else in the day that happened, even things that may have been good or bad, they seem meaningless and they count for nothing. But when I actually feel like, wow, I shared something that maybe somebody started thinking because of, started thinking about Jesus and who he really is in this world that wants to distort the truth and turn people away from the truth and hope of the gospel of God's grace and turn them towards the world, the world that's trying to suck them in with so many false representations of who Christ is, so many false avenues of hope, so many false lights, because the, the devil masquerades as an angel of light. We need to always be reminded of that. But then Acts twenty twenty four. our lives are worth nothing. It's all about what are we doing to share the good news of the grace of God shown through Jesus Christ. It's the only thing that matters. This world is fading away just like we are. We are here for but a moment. We're a drop in the ocean of eternity. And where we spend eternity is going to be how we spend our short time here on earth. Are we living for us or are we living for God? Are we loving others first or are we loving ourselves because we've been convinced that that's what we're supposed to do. What did Jesus do? He loved others. He forgave others, even as they nailed him to a cross. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. That's the heart we need to have. I pray that you have that, and that you persevere until the end, that you finish the race. And I pray this finds you well. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.